the stockbroker's dream. This is the River Tay, whose meandering pursuit of the sea is only aroused by some furtive strangers on little personal safaris in the undergrowth. Recognize a white hunter? Well, I'll give you a clue. One, he's Scottish. Do you need another one? All right, he likes to hold things. Three, he increased the suicide rate in Manchester a week past Wednesday. Four, he saved a penalty kick by Gordon Strachan. Yes, that's right, goalkeeper Hamish McAlpin of Dundee United. Well, Hamish, uh, they tell me there are no tigers up here, so what are we after? Uh, ducks. Uh, most likely, but there are also a lot of geese down here. Yeah, quite. Who's your coach, by the way, uh, Jackie Charlton? <laughs> well, no, I've seen him on the telly right enough, but uh, more opportunities now you get. Now, can this, uh, honestly, this, this, this kind of sport relax you, get you away from footballing tension? Yeah, surely, because the scenery, great scenery, the weather's nice. Uh, yeah. Good exercise as well. What's that? Uh... Hamish joined United in 1966 and has played in 50 European ties, which makes him one of the most experienced players in the whole of Europe. He's not just a goalkeeper, of course. He's a thinker on the game and one of Scotland's irrepressible personalities. It's a really good save. He got down well. He needed the help of the post. Keen only Paul Stark is in front of that ball. is a great save by McAlpin. On Wednesday night, Tannadice will hold 21,000, only 1,100 of whom will come from Manchester. Well, Hamish, this is where the front line of the Red Army, the Manchester United supporters, are going to be. They're very close to the pitch. I suspect you like supporters close to you. It makes a better atmosphere, actually, mm -hmm. yes. Um, it's plus the fact that you throw quite a lot of money at you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Hamish, uh, you've got a very good result at Old Trafford, but I am surprised by the number of people I've met in Dundee since who think that you are virtually in the quarterfinals themselves already. Uh, probably supporters think that. But, uh, certainly the players don't uh, agree with that. They know that they've got uh, another hard 90 minutes. Um, it's going to be probably more difficult for, uh, for us to get a result up here than what the wind did. Uh, we probably surprised them. At the beginning of the season, Dundee United signed a new goalkeeper, Billy Thompson, and they put you in the reserves. Were you disappointed about that? Well, possibly, but uh, I'd put a lot of hard work in uh, pre-season training, and uh, I said to the manager when, uh, when he signed Billy that uh, obviously I was still going to fight for my first team place, but uh, if I wasn't going to get it, then I wasn't going to stay too long in the reserves, obviously. Uh, I felt I could have done a job for another side, but uh, I was prepared to stay and, and fight for my place. Did you feel frustrated, though? Um, frustrated in a way, but it was good uh, playing the reserves at times. It kept me going. It kept trying to keep the young boys going. I think was uh, probably more than anything. It kept me more interested in the game. You know, I, I did lose a bit of heart to start with, but uh, knowing that you could bring the young kids on, uh, playing behind them, that certainly helped. McAlpin, United's longest-serving player, has emerged as an indispensable figure in Dundee's growth to a new domestic stature over the past ten years. Would you say that logically, even yet, Manchester United should be favourites to go through? Um, <laughs> logically, you would think that. But that funny is, football is a funny game. If it was all down to logic, uh, we'd all be millionaires in the pools. But uh, I would think most people are still making favourites. But uh, we've got a surprise up here for them. Hamish doesn't miss his targets all that often. Those sharp reflexes come from a burning desire to prove that even at his age, nothing can elude him. Not even Manchester United.